Aqua Soul family, what it do? You guys, it's your girl Empress 777 here today with a general love message for my Aquarius Soul family. Aquarius gang, gang in this bitch. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly am. Holy angels and spirit guys, please give me clear, concise messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. These messages are general, of course, guys. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Try to keep an open mind when it comes to tarot. Everything can't be for every single Aquarius, but I do upload for us quite often, as you know. If you don't know, <laughs> now you know. Take a moment and click that like button, please, as well as a subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when I upload for your sign. Okay. Cross watchers, place yourself where you belong in the story. You guys, <laughs> we don't have time to waste on small talk um, because I just feel a lot of energy pushing through. The Palo Santo ignited like no other. I mean, quicker than it ever has prior to a reading. It didn't take any time. It's almost like a sense of urgency to get things started in this reading. I don't know if that sense of urgency is coming from the divine um, or from your person, right? I don't know if it's this person trying to rush things along. I have no idea, okay? Here's what I do know. I do know that there is someone here planning to make you an offer, okay? I don't know if this is an offer that you are currently looking for, however. This definitely feels like an offer long overdue. So much so that you may be already two relationships deep um, since this person has been out of your life. You know what I'm saying? It seems as though you would have already started dating people. For some of you, you are currently in a relationship and now here they are. Um, I get the idea that this person chose someone else. I just, that might not be everybody, but that's just, I feel it very, very strongly, okay? This could be something that you are aware of or something that you are not quite aware of, but it feels like they chose another person over you. Um, we have drama queen. So they are coming with the shits, you guys. Okay, this person is with the shits. This person may not quite know that you don't accept this any longer. This is not something that kind of, um, this is not something that affects you any longer. Okay, especially if you're already seeing another person, um, this might even turn you off. This definitely is giving me somebody who is thirsty for attention. All right. Um, I don't think that they're coming in trying to negatively tri uh, trigger you. I feel like they're going to try to play on any emotions that they may still think is there. Right. This person is going to feel like they know you in a sense. And this is why they're coming with with a, a similar approach that they would have in the past. They definitely allowed too much time to lapse um, prior to coming back in. That's just what I feel, though. OK, yep. Mm hmm. We have waves. So this could be a forewarning that this may be something that is a little bit triggering for some of you, just depending on how much you've healed from this. There could be feelings that they that resurfaced that you thought were long gone. Um, a lot of those feelings may stem from the things that this person is saying and the offer in and of itself. Again, it does feel like an offer that is well overdue. It's, it sounds like something that you would have been asking for prior to now. Um, I don't believe that your wants, your desires, your needs um, and your requirements. I don't believe that they're the same anymore. OK, so they, they're coming towards you. Um, sort of like, OK, here, fine, you know. I give in. I give. It does seem to me that things did not work out on the other side. OK, I don't want to sound cliche, but, you know, it ain't no is the grass greener. There wasn't no fucking grass over there. OK, nothing but soil, mulch and manure. A horrible situation that they went towards. I definitely feel like whoever they chose over you, they bonded with. Um, sort of like a trauma bond. This person definitely fed this this individual's ego like no other. Um, I feel as though this other individual that they chose over you may have even love bombed them, guys. Okay? So they felt like they were making the correct choice. <sighs> we have lockbox. Mm -hmm. They're not dumb. Okay, this is somebody who knows that there is a lock on this, okay, that they have to do something to get you to open the gate, open the door, open your emotions, open up to them again. All right. This person is definitely very desperate for that. Okay. 
double confirmation with the feather tipping over there okay this person is this person is definitely trying to come up with more of a strategic approach but i feel like their ego is going to get the best of them okay this is an individual who do i have to say that i do not want to say that <laughs> a person who believes in playing with people like toys you know like people are objects and possessions and toys and when they get bored of you bored with you then they just either toss you give you to the goodwill put you up on a shelf never to be heard of again put you up in the attic you know put you in storage or some shit like that while they play with their new shiny toy or their new shiny thing, their new shiny relationship, they have definitely got hoodwinked and bamboozled with that one, I'm gonna tell you. I am going to tell you. Now, can I be honest in saying that I also feel a newer energy here? That's why I said, I do believe that for a great majority of you, you're already seeing someone new or you will very, very soon, very soon. Um, there will be a new energy coming towards you, a new connection. Um, for some of you, it could be multiple people, like just new dating is what I feel um, because it's connected to this waves um, card for sure. Um, I, I believe that this individual feels like when they return that you will be in the same condition that you were when they left you. This is ridiculous. They are definitely banking on that, okay? So we have mature man in the reverse. Gender doesn't matter. I believe you got this card before, you guys. I'm just gonna say. This person may be older than you or you may be older than this person, but we are dealing with some emotional immaturity, okay? For sure, for sure, for sure. Lack of growth. This would also be why they feel like you would be the same because they're the same. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this lockbox can also be this individual currently in this karmic cycle of a relationship. This is something that they actually chose. They went towards it, okay? They're now seeing the benefits of coming back towards you, even though they still do not have any value in their hierarchy for you. They don't value you. That is not what is happening here, you guys, okay? This person may definitely feel like they are trapped in a situation that um, they don't want to admit that they chose this relationship or that they chose this other situation, okay? They possibly won't admit it, okay? Yeah, no, they won't. They're going to keep, they're definitely going to keep that to themselves, all right? It will definitely be in their thoughts up until the point that they decide to finally approach. Um, it's a very dramatic approach, however, okay? So we had Drama Queen come out first. I feel like however they decide to come is going to definitely shake things up for them and possibly for you, just depending on where you are, okay? Yeah, we have expectation. It's because of what they are expecting from this. Now, this person is expecting to return to you, as I just stated, like a sitting duck is what I'm hearing. It's quite insulting. They expect to return and find you exactly where they left you. On the shelf, in the attic, in storage. They're ready to dust you off and play with you again. I just don't believe that that's what they're walking towards, okay? I just have to be very honest with that. I don't believe that that is the situation at all. At least not for a great majority of you. Um, You've had lots of changes occur in your life and the majority of those changes definitely happened internally, okay? What does that mean? That means that you're not even the same person anymore. You don't even think the same anymore. You know, the same things that attracted you before are no longer attractive. That's what's gonna send this person into a tizzy. I just have to be honest with that one, you guys, because their expectation will not be met. It's gonna be shattered, actually. Um, they're not gonna be able to deal with that, okay? Especially if we're talking rejection. Um, whoa, that just flew out, okay. So, we have healthy choices. I definitely feel like you went through a cycle where you possibly were waiting for this person to come back, okay? 
it's also why it keeps bringing to my attention the amount of time that it's been you know you were kind of forced to put yourself back together and realize that the thing that broke you wasn't going to be the thing that healed you you know what i'm saying it's definitely a harder choice to make but it's one that you did make okay it says make making healthier choices in love and in life it also has self-love in this card as well as self-care and being happy now that's definitely one of those shattered expectations that we are talking about so this individual approaching or trying to spin the block you know what i'm saying making a bit of a u-turn they feel dumb as fuck they're not expecting you to be in a happy place a peaceful place no they 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 definitely feel like they played more of a stronger role um in breaking you down enough to be stuck so that when they come back you know you're ready to to start this thing up again okay we have the dragonfly so this says be light-hearted right finding out <laughs> okay things coming to light adapt change heal that is mirrored okay this is something that you have already experienced and this is something that this person is currently approaching you may definitely be the catalyst to this person's um, next karmic cycle they feel like they're escaping right because they feel trapped in that other situation it didn't pan out or turn out the way that they thought it would um i definitely feel like they were dealing with someone way more immature than they were okay it's definitely had them in their thoughts i mean just kind of daydreaming right about what they did have or what they could have moving forward now again this is not somebody who is having the thoughts of oh i'm sorry right I'm, i regret what i did i have remorse how could i have done that like i'm you know i'm stupid i need to change this i need to fix this no those are not that those are not the thoughts in order to release themselves since they feel trapped in this other situation they are like well you know i still have that other toy that i put away over there let me just go see what that's doing let me see what that's about see what that's hitting for you guys can i be quite honest with you this is gonna sound <laughs> crazy you know what it's giving me it's giving me the vibes of someone who views people as like um supply or food you know literal food so they eat off of people's energy they eat off of people's validation and compliments and you know resources and this is how they map out where people hold value in their life but the value is not in the actual person it's just in what the person can provide do or how the person can help them elevate them you know that's what i'm getting um it's definitely a phrase that i've heard more notably in narcissistic companionship okay i don't like to throw that word around but that's what I'm hearing intuitively, right? Supply. This is somebody who is running low on supply. Okay, they are thirsty. That's the first card that came out. Thirst. Quite literally, they're possibly dying from thirst. This person could have experienced what they call a narcissistic injury. Okay, this is where they now have to realize that they, they fucked up, that they made a wrong choice. And it's like, well, that's not a big deal. It is for this type of individual because they're never wrong and they never want to admit when they're wrong and in this situation because they chose something that they were not aware okay they weren't aware of the type of individual that they were getting ready to encounter they have no choice but to admit this this is definitely something that is bothering them on all levels okay they're deep 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 in their thoughts The injury could also be stemming from you actually moving on, okay? And for those of you who haven't started dating someone new or who are not looking to date new, the new in energy that I'm feeling is you. 
Don't let that go over your head. The new energy that I'm feeling is actually you. Okay, because we do have healthy choices here. You're definitely making different choices than you were prior to now, okay? And they are expecting to return to the same individual that they left. So I keep saying that they left. Is that true? I just need to know, is that the case? Okay, because for some of you, you could have actually left this individual, but this is the type of person who likes to keep the door open. They like the option to be able to, to uh, make a return. So if that's the case and you decided to choose yourself and make a healthier choice, which is choosing yourself, you did not communicate that to this person. So they are still under the impression that the door is still open. Wow, they're running into all kinds of obstacles moving forward, okay? Because the offer that they're bringing is very simple. Okay, but they're getting ready to find out something. They're getting ready to have to adapt to a new newer energy and if the two of you have had history lots of cycles that's where we're getting this chaotic sort of emotional lunatic yeah see we have true love it came out in the reverse mm -hmm. this is not about love this is about supply this is about feeding someone's ego this is about feeding someone's desire okay to be needed desire to be validated okay yeah we also have regret in the reverse i told you there's no regret here you guys all right so it's not someone who regrets what they've done they don't regret they don't have remorse because why would they they still have the expectation that turning back around will be successful you understand Unfortunately, right? I hope I don't sound insensitive, okay, guys? Because I do feel like you had feelings for this person, all right? Quite strong ones. This individual was able to definitely um, possess the right qualities and say the right words to imitate someone who, who, who may have feelings for another. Even if they actually said the phrase, I love you, something inside of you felt like, yeah, I don't know if that is, you know, I don't know. It sounds good, right? Like, just never sounded authentic or real. So we have denial. This is somebody who is definitely going to be hiding their motives, guys, okay? I just have to be very honest. Now, you have moved on, so I don't feel like the majority of you are in danger of possibly even engaging with this individual. They're gonna try their damnedest, however, okay? We have healing, right? So this is the path that you're on. The expectation that they are having on who they will meet once they come back around is definitely not someone who is healed. Absolutely not. Damn. Here's what I will also say. For those of you who still can't explain to yourself what happened in this connection because it confused the shit out of you, left you spinning. This shit left you spinning. You couldn't understand. It definitely feels like it came to an abrupt end for a great majority of you, okay? I kept hearing that they they left you, right? So they could have either ghosted, discarded, you know, stop engaging. For some of you, you actually know that they left you for an... It's just brutal, okay? This behavior. And that's very arrogant for them to think that they could still come back around... After how brutally they treated you they're confident in coming back around as well you guys okay let's make no mistakes about that so we have the ten of cups and temperance I definitely feel like for a good majority of you you are getting ready to connect with someone who is going to counterbalance this sort of chaotic energy coming your way but it definitely feels like there's unfinished business here okay it feels divinely guided 
So even if you blocked your number, even if you changed your number, even if you've moved, it feels like it's going to be divinely guided that the two of you either bump into one another or they will be able to get in contact. There's a loose end that needs to be tied here. Um, it might not have anything to do with you because you have healed. We have temperance here. All right. Your patience is definitely going to be needed as you move forward. Um, cause you may be getting frustrated at this juncture. It's like, I've done everything that I needed to do. Now, why are the same fucking kind of people coming around? Like, what is this? Um, what you've been trying to manifest is on its way in. Okay. There's nothing else for you to do, but wait, you cannot make this shit up guys. Okay. Money in love is, is, is just above and beyond. 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups. So this feels like the most abundant cycle thus far that you've experienced. It does feel like things will only start to get better. Okay. Yeah, have some patience with yourself, you guys. That's what this temperance card is definitely screaming to me. Now, this individual coming your way may be a Sagittarius, all right? We also have earth and water here. But I just feel like this person is going to have a good balance of all of those qualities, right? Cups are about emotions and emotionality, emotional maturity, right? Um, fire is that passionate energy, okay? Um and then we have pentacles, which is all about the stability, security. Um, so I feel like all of that is what is approaching you or you may currently be sp seeing someone new. Okay, so just take it how it resonates. This is definitely something that will appear once you have come to a full completion of your healing um, journey, right? Or just as you start to near this healing journey. So definitely have patience with yourself during this process. Okay, so let's see here. Mm, we have the five of cups in the reverse. As this is showing up as their desired outcome. Well, there's a no brainer, right? This person definitely has very high expectations. Um, they're very confident. Okay, very, very confident. And I feel like that's going to make them hit the wall even harder. Okay. This is beyond denial at this point. Um, yeah, I, I feel like they're in for a battle. <laughs> if they approach you, they may even try to ignore the fact that you're in a relationship or that you're seeing someone new and they are possibly in for a battle. You do have another person here, you guys. This person is gonna want to protect you from this energy. Yeah. They're definitely going to want to be your source of protection from this. <laughs> we also have at the bottom of the deck three of wands. So pff, I already told you three of wands is the card of waiting. This person, this is their expectation. You guys, they definitely expect to find you waiting for them. They definitely expect that you have been manifesting them back in. And that is what you have been asking for. Okay, they may even reach to think that this is what you wanted. And now they're finally going to give you what you've been asking for and you should be happy about it. This is weird. This is a weird ass reading. Y'all ain't even going to hold you. This is weird. So how they believe you. Yeah, I told you this, per this person is cray cray. So in reference to how they feel you view things and how you feel about the situation, number one, we have the devil. This could be a Capricorn for some of you or a Scorpio. And then we have the death in the reverse. So this person in their mind, they're telling themselves an entirely different story than what I believe is occurring. Okay. I don't believe that this is happening, but yet they have blinded themselves. All right. This could definitely be a story that they're telling themselves, like I said, based on who you were before. Right. Depending on how long this connection has been um, in and out, off and on. Right. Break up to make up. This may just be another par for the course for in their mind. Right. Because um, they're very confident in their stance of what they believe. Now, devil signifies somebody who's obsessed. Right. Mentally warped. They feel themselves in this position and then you would be this individual. So they're, they have no doubt in their mind that they will be able to come back and definitely pull these strings. You will be right back in their possession. There is no way in hell, right, that you are, you've cycled, you know, you've um, gone into another cycle, right? That you've transformed, that you've renewed yourself or that you've healed. 
but I, I to be honest, I feel like that's exactly what they're going to find. And this is the issue, okay? This is why we have these waves of emotions, okay? An emotional lunatic on our hands, guys. Do not, do not take that lightly because their expectations are so high for them to hit something like, you know, their expectations are very, very high, you guys, okay? And they're almost 100, not almost, they are. They're 100% sure in their mind that this is what they're returning to. So they're gonna slap the fuck out of that wall at a billion miles per hour. Meanwhile, you chilling over here with your husband or your wife or your, you know, your new boo thing, right? Building an empire. I mean, you guys, this is a recipe for, okay, some cray cray, cray cray energy. You might have a Looney Tune on your hand, I'm just saying. See, Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is what's clarifying this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and Temperance. Your patience is definitely going to be needed, but I feel as though you're not, you know, you're very cutthroat at this juncture. You no longer have emotions or feelings or compassion or empathy, right? Especially with the way that they, they left things. So the Ace of Swords is the ultimate truth and that sword comes down like no other. It's a machete, okay? It just, pff, clean cut, clean, smooth cut because you have nothing else tied to this person. No more emotionality. You don't have any emotional ties whatsoever. So it's the smoothest cut of them all and I just don't believe that they're going to be able to handle that, okay? Yeah, I don't. I do not. All right, so let's go on over to the extended, okay? I definitely want to dig in over there. We will, of course, have new love. Um, we've already had new love come out in this initial read, and I feel like that's to give you some optimism because this older energy is very, very heavy, almost extremely overwhelming. It's definitely not something that I feel the majority of you are, are looking forward to, okay? <laughs> it feels like it will inevitably happen, the communication, but I feel as though I just have to be honest when you try to end things with this ace of swords this doesn't feel like somebody who's taking no for an answer they're in denial okay so let's see what they're not telling you I definitely want to see what this person is not telling you about their feelings um and their emotional space what are they hiding um I also want to see what karmic lessons are heading their way in order for change and growth to occur because we have mature man that came out in the reversal we're dealing with the same person gender doesn't matter we're dealing with the same individual though you've changed and elevated and evolved in some tremendous enormous ways this is the same person um let's also see what their purest feelings for you were initially and what they are now I want to see what their intentions for you were initially and what they are now okay as well as their next steps so you can prepare yourself and then we will look at the potential outcome whether you decide to re-engage with this person or go in the opposite direction now we do have new love that's already shown up here so you know the, the chances are very odd okay slim very slim chances that you're re-engaging with this person but again there's no judgment so i'm going to look at both I then want to tap into the subconscious blockages that need to be addressed. This is going to give you the reasoning in reference to why this had to happen. Why? Because I feel like that was a question over and like, why me? Like, why? Why? Why did this have to happen? Right? Why couldn't I see this sooner? Why did I even fucking talk to this person? Why did I give them my number? Why did I give them the time of day? Why did I take them back? Lots of why questions. So we're going to get the answers for those. Um, let's also see what needs to be eliminated from your dating patterns in order for you to become and remain invisible to all toxicity in this next cycle. That's going to be the key, especially for those of you who are able to escape this. Um, right for those of you who are able to get into that next cycle prior to this person actively or successfully engaging with you that's going to ensure that they won't be able to penetrate that next cycle towards you okay um let's also get into that new love right we're going to tap right into it let's see who is currently approaching you how will they do it how are they going to approach you how will you meet them okay um they are coming with some major offers straight off the bat ten of cups ten of, they're not playing games okay um it feels like it's very monumental huge changes coming uh so I definitely want to tap into that. And let's also see what are their intentions for you, okay? Their purest intentions for you. Um, what are their best qualities? That's going to catch your eye. Um, what's the chemistry and the romance like? In and out of the bedroom, okay? I, I need to see. I need to see. Why are they single? 
We're gonna look at that according to them and according to their exes. Why are they single? And let's tap in to see if there are any red flags that the divine wants um, to warn you about, right? And are they deal breakers? We'll also see the potential for union and how soon can you expect that to happen? And then I just want to give you a little bit of information as you move forward onto this new journey, new cycling after healing. What signs and synchronicities will you be given to signify that you have connected with your divine counterpart? This is something for you to look out for as you're meeting and vetting people moving forward. This is going to be the sign that the divine is going to give you directly, specifically, to ensure that you know that this is your person, okay? And no more wasting time. Um, and then I want to get your focus advice to see how the divine suggests you accomplish this in the least amount of time we will then get your focus advice from the divine in reference to how you can accomplish this encountering your divine counterpart how you can speed up that momentum towards them in the least amount of time okay and then we will of course have our this is becoming a constant <laughs> I feel like it's much appreciated. We will uh, have our Ask the Universe read. We will we use this deck. I'll give you guys the floor to ask a couple of questions, but I'll have more instructions over in the extended, okay? So, please, click that like button before we get on up out of here, as well as the subscribe button, okay? Uh, click that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. And that's about it. We do not have time to waste, guys. I'm going to link that uh, extended down below in the description box, and I'm going to see you over there.